The Senate Minority Leader, Senator Enyinaya Abaribi, has taken his time out to speak once more. This time around, he took out his time to drag the presidency for telling Nigerians that they are going to publish the names of the Boko Haram and Bandit's sponsors. Senator Enyinaya Abaribi is one man who has always spoken out when there is a need for him to do so without any fear. While speaking, he started by criticizing the APC-led government for referring to criminals as bandits instead of calling them terrorists, which they are. He further made it known by referring to them as bandits will make their activities and crimes look like a lesser crime. Moving forward, he made it known that these are the same people who have killed Nigerians and also destroyed the country. Going forward, he dragged the presidency for telling Nigerians that they are going to publish the names of the Boko Haram and bandit sponsors. The Abia Bond senator asked to know where on earth will the government fight crime by just publishing the names of the people. According to him, what the government should do is to, is to investigate, arrest and prosecute them and not publishing their names. Senator Enyinaya Baribe ended by stating it clearly that the sponsor of a criminal is also a criminal. It will be recalled that presidency yesterday told Nigerians that they are going to publish the names of those sponsoring the Boko Haram terrorists. Let's patiently wait and see how things will eventually turn out to be, he concluded. Of the truth, the Nigerian government cannot tell Nigerians that they want to only publish the names of the criminals or Fulani headsmen or Boko Haram sponsors as it were. The issue is that if they know the sponsors, why haven't they gone after the sponsors? Why are they keeping the names of the sponsors? Why haven't they, you know, exposed them and also go after them? It is really, really sad and unfortunate that we are still talking about this particular issue right up until now. As it is right now, we shouldn't be talking about sponsors. We shouldn't be talking about who are they. We should be talking about how long are they going to be spending in the uh, in, 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 in detainment? We should be talking about what has been done to them and how much more years they have to spend in jail. Not talking about publishing their names because you published their names, then to what end did you publish their name? To what end is the publishing of their name? If you are sure that these are the sponsors, you call them out, you investigate them, bring them tell tell us who they are arrest them and prosecute to serve as deterrent to others it is already it is so unfortunate that the country as it is nigeria as a country is at the mercy of these people which to a very large extent does not speak well of our collective um of our, it doesn't speak well of our collective uh mindset and uh position as a country. How can terrorists be holding us to ransom for years? Our government refused to seek help or accept help from external uh, international communities. So what exactly are we up to? If the leaders are not the ones sponsoring the uh, terrorism in the country, then who are they? If you already know the problems, know where you know what the problem is, then you begin to solve it. But how do you get to know what the problem is and you hold on to it and you keep it and you're watching and you probably you're feeding the problem? Is that how to go about things? Of course not. So the presidency cannot come and tell us that they know who the sponsors are and they are not doing anything about it. It does not speak well of the presidency and it does not speak well of the country and the leaders as it is. 
we expect that they ought to go out there and even before the citizens are calling for uh, for prosecution and all that they ought to have been making example of these people to serve as deterrents to other people taking a look at all that is happening in the south uh, uh, the, sorry in the northern part of the country and the activities of these terrorists you definitely know that or know that there is serious tension that is building up in the whole of the country they have now extended to the southern part of the country look at what happened in Enugu look at what happened in Eboy State these are clear cases of terrorism by this sect of people the intelligence has already been released by the US government issuing serious warning to the Nigerian government that these people are already invading this uh, 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 part of the, this region and part of the country Yet the government has not been able to take any reasonable step to address this issue or to call things to order. It leaves you or leaves one with the imagination as to what exactly the government is going, uh, is doing concerning this. Are they actually aiding and abetting these particular um, people? Are they aiding and abetting the activities of the Boko Haram? Do they actually want these people to wipe out some certain region? This probably is the question that is on the mind of so many people because the government seems to have failed in their duty in the responsibility of protecting the people insecurity has gone worse in the history of the country ever since the country was uh, formed and that is why you see people are calling for agitation that is why you see people are asking to go their separate ways because the government seems to be behind the call uh, before behind the uh, activities of the terrorists as it were Nobody is sure that the government is not aware of the sponsors. Nobody can say that the government is not uh, aware of those carrying out these activities. But their failure to do the needful, even when the needful is needed to be done, is just uh, a, a sad situation that people are living with in the country today. And this has led to the killings and the you know, untimely killing of over hundreds, uh, if not possibly thousands of people, or even millions, as the case in the entire northern part of the country. It is sad and unfortunate. Just like Senator Enyinaya Baribi said, the sponsor of a criminal is also a criminal. And until we get to that point, you know, we might just be joking with the issue of uh, security, terrorism, and all what have you. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.